So much has changed in 22 and 20 years, I should say. And you know, if you go to the airport, you notice a big difference. If you go to any government building, you notice a difference. And you also notice a difference at the Massachusetts State House. And here's 22 News reporter Jody Reed. Prior to September 1st, 2001, visitors walked up and down the steps here to enter the state house. But after 9-11, the security protocol here changed pretty dramatically. During a normal year when the state house is open to the public, visitors can go in and out of the building using the general hooker entrance. All visitors must go through metal detectors and pass by state troopers as well as DCR rangers, a security measure that was put in place after 9-11. Once inside, certain parts of the building are off limits like the House Chamber and the Senate Library. Security cameras can be found in most of the hallways, and they are also mounted on the outside of the building. While many of these security measures have been added to keep lawmakers safe, they've also been put in place to prevent anything from happening to the building itself. To think about just how much changed about life after 9-11, uh, and we are 20 years later living through a, a different type of, of kind of event that really is, I think, changing people in a fundamental way. The city of Boston has a connection to the terrorist attack on 9-11. Two of the four passenger planes that were hijacked that day took off from Logan Airport. A memorial now sits just outside the gates of Logan Airport, honoring the 147 people that lost their lives on American Airlines Flight 11 and United Flight 175. More than 200 people that lost their lives on 9-11 were from Massachusetts or had a special connection to the Bay State. Every year, there are special ceremonies held in nearly every corner of the Commonwealth to honor their memory. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.